Every individual and organization has corporate social responsibilities they have to go aboard. In fulfillment of their obligation in tackling education, Sasso joins hands with TV3's Ghana's Most Beautiful, Ifia Asamoa, a past contestant of Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 8 who represented the Bron Ahafo region of Ghana. The Bron Ahafo region is located in the northern belt of the country. Beautiful town with Tsunyane as its capital is renowned for its large cocoa production and agriculture. Bron Ahafo region can never stand on its own without mentioning the cultural and wildlife attractions. As original representatives of the Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 8, it is important for Ifia to pass on the transformational change to make lives better for the people of Bron Ahafo region. I happen to have the opportunity to be that person to represent the Bron Ahafo region in the Season 8 of the prestigious Ghana's Most Beautiful pageant. There was nothing ever been proud of in this God-given life of mine than to have represent the wonderful people of this region. We have a very beautiful and unique culture, and so I entreat my fellow brothers and sisters to take interest in them and learn our culture. Having raised by a single mom, I know too well that it takes a woman for a hand, handily raise a child. There was a little wonder that Ethia was in GMB season 8 to promote her project on single mothers. But one thing that I am strongly convicted in addressing the plight of single mothers is one way of dealing with child delinquency. For this reason, I went to GMB to do something for single mothers. Though the competition is over, but my vision has just begun. <laughs> This initiative by Sasso and Ifia is a corporate effort to provide basic schools materials such as stationery to school going children. The occasion calls on all from the local traditional council, dignitaries, GMB past contestants, and pupils from diverse basic schools in the region. As important as music and dance is to society, cultural troops from Meridani, JHS, and Tanukoma Groma put together a wonderful piece to welcome all before the main purpose of gathering. At the function, the past contestants emphasized the need to contribute every share of what you have to make lives comfortable for others, especially the needy. Going into the competition and through the competition, I enjoyed a lot of support from this region. It is in appreciation of this support and as part of my project that I donate customized 10,000 exercise books to 90 basic schools and 1,000 students from selected municipal and district assemblies within the region. Basic education is a must prerequisite to education 
and knowledge in much, the same way as food is a prerequisite to life and also air is to life existence. To my younger brothers and sisters, as the point is, a lot of people are making investments in you. I can't imagine a better investment I would have been done without education. But as you experience success and setbacks, you need to remember everything that has been put into making sure that you had an opportunity. This then brings to me one thing I hope you remember when you leave, that you are also one day going to give back the society what our region has invested in you. You can't afford to fail. Mr. Chairman, on this note, please let me take this opportunity to express my profound gratitude to the Lord Almighty for bringing me this far, the Honorable Regional Minister who wholeheartedly accepted this idea and ensured that this program is organized. To the CEO, Mr. Samson Efa Apreku, staff and management of Samara Group of Companies, you have been a solid